Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is my September empties and I have a lot here. I wish I could pick up this bucket, but things will just go spilling out. I mean, I have overflow of candles outside of the bucket. It's crazy. And just as a fair warning, you will be seeing a lot of video, quite a few videos in this shirt. I finally have a second to film and I'm so excited because I missed filming. You guys don't really realize it, but I haven't actually filmed in like a week or so, something a little week and a half. It, I, you guys have no idea because I, what I do is I like film in chunks. That way I always have like a week to two weeks worth of videos ready to post every couple of days. But my mom got really sick. Thankfully it's not the C word. It's just a really bad virus other than the C virus. Um, so I've been taking care of her and we had weddings and it was just a lot happening all at once. So <laughs> we're back at it finally. We have one more wedding coming up in October and then it's chill. I shouldn't have jinxed myself. I take it back universe, I take it back. So yeah, we have got messy bun, the same shirt in a lot of videos. No dogs in the background, they're in front of me. You know, I have an audience today instead of um, a background. But anyway, let's get into it because I'm warning you, this is gonna be really long and I'm so sorry if you don't like long videos, but I've been going balls to the walls with candles. Seriously, it's crazy. So I'm going to start act out with actually what may have been my favorite candle of 2021. It's true. It may, it may be. And this is Huntington Home Honey Glazed Pear Cider from Aldi. You guys, when I tell you that this was a 10 out of 10, this was seriously a 10 out of 10. This was gorgeous. Number one, a phenomenal, truly like pears that were glazed in honey I mean with just like a sprinkling of those cider spices but not spicy it did absolutely beautiful burn down all the way to the wick clips I never had one issue with these and the throw on these and the strength was seriously a 10 out of 10 I had obviously I had two of them going in my open concept and it was beautiful my brother walked in and was like wow it smells like fall in here and I was like yes yes it does it was so good gorgeous 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 I don't know if I like I'm seriously gonna maybe that person that writes to Aldi and tells them how much I loved this and they need to bring this back like I may actually be that crazy to do it because it's gorgeous I mean it says it was a soy blend but there's really not that much residue it was amazing absolutely amazing and I'm so sad that these were Aldi finds and I can't get them anymore because they're gone. But I seriously would have purchased probably, probably six more. So I could have burned it like three more times. Yeah, I probably, I really would have. I would have bought six more of these. This one, I already pulled the wicks out because I was able to catch it before it um, extinguished itself. But incredible, absolutely incredible. I don't really do like favorites of the year because I burn and melt so much. But if I did... I think this one, this one would have been number one so far. I mean, it's, it was that good. It was, it was so good. Oh, it was so good. All right. From Homeworks, I have watermelon lemonade here. This was back from 2019. So I picked this up from HSN on clearance back in 2019 when they ended their partnership with HSN. So I got it for a pretty good discount. I think two candles were like $22, which is such a steal. So this is fresh squeezed lemon, mandarin orange, sugar watermelon, and raspberry. And it was just that. It was a gorgeous watermelon lemonade scent that was like a little sophisticated, a little bit deeper than the typical like Bath and Body Works watermelon lemonade. That one is a candy watermelon. This one's more of like a juicy deep watermelon with the raspberry added to it. It was really, really gorgeous. Burn wise, it did good, but when I tell you that I had to, I had to cotton ball this. I had to cotton ball this six times. Now, mind you, I take a jumbo cotton ball and rip it in half, and like that, I count as one is like half a cotton ball, and then I fluff it up to kind of make it be able to suck up more wax. So I actually had to cotton. I used three jumbo cotton balls, but even at the end, you can see I lost these two wicks here. They, even though they still had plenty of life left in them. Like they were not down to the wick, wick clips. They weren't even black from burned. Like the wick still had white wick to it. Uh, they would not stay lit no matter what I did. 
they just wouldn't stay lit. So I was like, fine, whatever. We'll let it go. So I pulled those out and then these two finished the rest of the burn. But at that point, I mean, it was kind of pointless. <laughs> so you can't really take a four wick and bring it down to a two wick, but it was okay. Other than that, like it was really beautiful. It's throw was a really strong throw. It filled up my bedroom beautifully. The burn was clean. There is no soot. I think the glass is really beautiful. So yeah, um, other than the con balling issue, I loved this. I absolutely loved this. So yeah, this one was a good, this one was a, a winner, even though it had some issues. Another winner was Village Candles Tranquility, which is Cyclamen, Lotus, Agave, and Amber. This was my burn the dang candle challenge for September, well actually August and September, because this took forever to burn. This was crystal clear up until the end. I mean, it was crystal clear. It was wild how clear this glass was. But as you can see, at the end, it got a little sooty. The wicks, I don't know how they got so out of control so quickly, but they did, and they did sit a little bit. Thankfully, the jar pretty much caught all of it, and it was at the end. But when I tell you that this burned all the way down, oh, it smells so good. It burned all the way down. Like, there, <laughs> there is not much left here. So... It was beautiful. I got this at TJ Maxx. This was 20 ounces and it burned forever. I think on the bottom, yeah, up to 110 hours. I would say that I probably got like 100 to 110 hours of this. I mean, it was it was beautiful though. The scent was strong, spa-like. I would 100% repurchase this, absolutely. It was gorgeous and like I said, it burned beautifully all the way until right about the end point here. Like right around here was when it just when it got a little sooty. And I wasn't expecting it, so I probably could have caught it, but it had performed so well with not trimming the wicks at all that I wasn't expecting it to get sooty, but not a big deal. So yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm going to miss that scent. I know I can purchase it, but oh, it was so good. So good. All right, Mango Waters from Bath & Body Works. This I loved. Oh my gosh, I burned this in the kitchen. This is Sugared Mangoes Pink Grapefruit Fresh Seagrass. It was this gorgeous orange wax. This burned so well. Oh my gosh, opening up, it, it smells like a starburst. It truly smells like an orange starburst. It is incredible, absolutely incredible. I'm so mad that I only have one of these. That's a scorch mark from my lighter. Just ignore that, but it burned beautifully. Not a puny wick in sight. Not even like, I didn't have to worry about it sitting. I just trimmed the wicks every burn. It burned phenomenally. You know, usually get some puny wicks around the halfway point or so. Nope, she just trucked on. The orange wax stayed orange. It did not discolor. Oh, it burned all the way down. It was just beautiful. It was just like an overall amazing experience. The scent, incredible. The throw, strong. The burn, immaculate. The packaging, pretty. I loved this. I loved this. I hope that they bring it back because it was gorgeous. I, I mean, aesthetically gorgeous, burn gorgeous, scent. It seriously smells like an orange starburst. I loved it. Loved it. Oh God. One that I did not love so much. Spiderweb pancakes. Spiderweb pancakes from Goose Creek in the Halloween collection. Soot. Let me start out with that. The first couple of burns on this, oh my gosh. When I tell you that the wicks were literally like, what is that, P pluming smoke? They were pluming. It wasn't even pull pulled out all the way and they were studding. So it wasn't even like I had let it go too long or what. They were out of control at the beginning. Okay, fine. We can look past this. I kept it on the kitchen, any, I mean on the stove, underneath the hood to catch the soot. Anyway, fine. The scent, you guys, made me, it, like it actually makes me sick. On cold, it smells like this gorgeous cinnamon pancake with a hint of blackberry. When you set this on fire, <laughs> literally on fire, it smells horrible. It smells so, it smells like rotten fruit that you've set on fire in the stove and you left it in there horrible horrible I don't even know how I burned it down this far because when I tell you it was it was actually like nauseating me 
it was horrible. Now this has happened once before, actually twice before with pumpkin candles, one of them being a Goose Creek candle. Mainstays um, has a pumpkin pie candle and Goose Creek pumpkin cupcake. They both use the same pumpkin oil where it smells absolutely incredible on cold. You set the wicks, you light the wicks, it goes downhill. It smells horrible, rancid, terrible. Those are, that was like the first candle, was like first or second candle that I've never finished was that Mainstays pumpkin pie. And then Goose Creek had the pumpkin happen. So I think they use the same pumpkin oil. I don't know if they use like a blackberry oil in here or maybe there's like a hidden pumpkin oil in here. But when I tell you that it was horrible, horrible. I will never repurchase this in my entire life. It was disgusting. I didn't like it. No, don't waste your money on this. No, horrible. Absolutely terrible. No, just no. No, no. Okay, that was all the overflow. Now we're getting into the into, into the bin. Surfs up, Coconut Bay. Ride the waves and go with the flow. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is from when? This is from 2017. Ugh, this was my burn. This was um, after I finished that village candle. This was my burn the dang candle challenge. I love this. This is sea salted citrus, lush coconut, and sunlit waves. Oh, I don't know. It is the most stunning creamy coconut scent I have ever smelled in my life this is what started my love for creamy coconut scents and oh, I will miss this I have one more I bought three back in 2017 I burned one you know back then I have then I burned this one and I have one left and I think I'm gonna burn it next summer it's just it's so gorgeous I don't even know how to describe it but They've never brought anything back that even comes close to this. I will tell you that right now. Not coconut cream pie, nothing. This is just, this was just ugh, creamy coconut with like a little bit of maybe that sea salted citrus just in the base there, like truly at the bottom of the base. I loved it. I did have to cotton ball it, but I didn't care. It, I loved it so much that I was like, you can do no wrong. I love you so much. It doesn't matter what you how you treat me. I love you. <laughs> it yeah, it, but it burned really well. Other than that, no soot, nothing. I mean, it just it was gorgeous. It did discolor. Obviously, it was white wax. Oh, I will miss you. But this is the whole point of the burning of the candle challenge. You have to use things up while you have them, while you're still here. You can still enjoy them. So yeah, I I will miss it, but I enjoyed every second of burning it. All right, then we have, where's your sister? Where's your sister? Oh my gosh, wax is going everywhere. All right, we have two of the blueberry pie from Bath and Body Works. This is in the White Barn packaging. Not my most favorite scent. These are from 2019. This is Juicy Blueberries, Flaky Crust, and Sugar Crystals. I don't know. Everybody just loves this candle. I just, I can't get down with it. I don't know why, but, um, I just can't do it. It's, this one actually has like one burn left, but I'm not going to do that. I have to pause because Whoa. FedEx is here. Okay. Sorry about that. FedEx was here and the dogs were going crazy. So also if it looks a little different, Lily knocked the tripod over. So what else is new? <laughs> but blueberry pie. Yeah. I just can't get down with this. I don't know. This one, like I was saying, has one burn left, but I'm just letting it go. I know that may break a lot of people's hearts, but I just can't do it. This one I already finished and I pulled the wicks out of. That's why it looks that crazy. It was because one wick had like already started to harden. So I like had to really scoop it out. Anyway, it, they burned fine. No puny wicks, no um, cotton balling. Yeah, these did just fine. They were really, really strong. Oh my God, they were like throw you out of the house strong. And I feel like that's always the case. Whenever you don't like a scent, it's stronger. I don't know how that works, but yeah, it's, these were good. They performed well, but blueberry pie is just not my fave. Not always my fave. Then we have, where is your sister now? We have two of the Fiji White Sands, also from Bath and Body Works in the White Barn packaging. Um, Fiji White Sands, not my most favorite. I already pulled the wicks out, I think of both of them, did I? Yeah, I did. They both burned well. This one, if you can see, has got, again, quite a bit, like, a finger and a half left. So, I bur uh, this one burned all the way down. But I was just tired of them. I, I don't know. Fiji White Sands is not my most favorite. I discovered this is Fresh Cut Sugar Cane, White Nectarine, and Sandalwood. I like 
um, Tiki Beach and Endless Weekend more. So if I was going to pick like a summery type of scent or turquoise, turquoise waters even, um, I wouldn't pick Fiji White Sands. It's just, I think I don't like the coconut mixed with the sandalwood. Oh no, there's not even coconut in here. I don't know. I, I, I just don't like the blend. Smelling it, it's okay. But when I had two burning, it was, then I get cut off by a phone call. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that's the universe's way of saying, wrap it up, lady. <laughs> so yeah, Fiji White Sands wouldn't, I don't know. I wouldn't get it again. I would stick with uh, Endless Weekend. <sighs> We're not done with candles, guys. Told you it was a lot. Vanilla Cola Candy. Loved this from Bath and Body Works. This is Fizzy Soda Crystals, Sparkling Sugar Cane, and Creamy Vanilla. Burned fabulously. Anything you see is from my lighter. Burned really well. Again, I burned this in the kitchen. It was just gorgeous. Fruity. Not fruity. Oh my gosh. Not fruity. <laughs> Fizzy. Like syrup. Like cola syrup. Oh, it was just so good. I can't believe I didn't like this at the beginning. But now I do. I definitely like it now. Yeah. Gorgeous. Loved it. Would repurchase if they ever decided to pull that out of the vault. But I do have, I think, one more. No, I have more than one. I think I have like two or two more. Bath and Body Works Turquoise Waters. Again, I burned this in the kitchen. The candles burned very quickly in my kitchen recently. This was stunning with this. These are all cutouts. So when it was burning, it was just beautiful luminary packaging. This is Coastal Waves Sparkling Bergamot Sun Drenched Musk. I love this. That's from my lighter. Ignore. It makes my heart so happy. It's fresh. It's aquatic. It's calming. It's spa-like. I just love turquoise waters. I love it so much. And it's so strong. Like, it doesn't smell smoky at all, which is amazing. Because sometimes they can get a little smoky towards the bottom, but... This is beautiful. And you know what's funny? And I, they've had this for so long and I never really see people talk about it ever. It's just like overlooked so often, but do not sleep on turquoise waters because she is a winner. A winner, I tell you. All right. Um, one more candle, I think. A box of tea lights in French vanilla from Yankee Candle. Use those in my tea light warmer. And then Watermelon Lemonade, which was a one wick from Bath & Body Works. These don't have the scent notes. No, they do not. Uh, this was good in the bathroom. Burned all the way down to the wick clip. There is a lot of wax left in this one. I know I talk about it quite often, like how much they leave. But this one left a lot of wax. And it burned all the way down. No tunneling. Super strong. Super great. Super fruity fun for summer. Like the end of summer. I love Watermelon Lemonade. And I would repurchase. Okay. Uh, oh, then another box of Summer Scoop Tea Lights from Yankee Candle. I can't believe I have so much here. All right. Clamshells. We have Teddy Bees Laid on the Beach, which is a blend of beach treats and marshmallows and magnolias. This is Beach Nights and Boardwalk mar Marshmallow Clouds mixed together. Very strong. Very great. Loved it. I would repurchase that. Super Tarts CSI, which is mango, marshmallow, <clears throat> sponge sugar, and frosting. This was just a little too sweet for my liking. The mango is very, very sweet, fruity, which I don't love. Nothing against her or anything. It was just that type of fruit is not my favorite. So yeah, I would not repurchase that, but it's very sweet and fruit, fruity if you like that. Zape Clean Sheets, which is clean linen, ozone, and cotton blossoms. A very typical clean cotton scent did well. It was just, again, very basics, run-of-the-mill, clean cotton scent, but it was not bad. And then we have some scent shots. I'm trying to pull them out in some sort of an order. Serial Killer by Heaven Scent by Becca Marie, aka Dreamlux now. This is a great Fruit Loops scent. I did that in the kitchen. Satsuma from K's. Love Satsuma. I hate the mica, but I love Satsuma. Very, very strong. That typical orange Satsuma that smells like the body shop. Cucumber Melon. Not a dupe for Bath and Body Works. Not bad. Not a dupe. So I probably wouldn't get that again. I'll just stick with regular Cucumber Melon from Bath and Body Works. This is that Smell Good Shop High Maintenance, which is sea salt, sea kelp, and ozone. You guys, I loved this one. This smelled like a... Oh my gosh, was this so good. So strong. I can't even really quite describe it to you. It literally is like, 
it's everything that it says. It's like slightly <clears throat> aquatic. It's so bright though. A little bit of green from that sea kelp. It's very like fresh from the ozone. I don't know how, but this is gorgeous. I would 110 million percent repurchase this because this was gorgeous. I don't know if this was like a limited edition scent or she has this all the time, but I love this. And that Smell Good Shop, people always forget to talk about her, but her shipping is like dirt cheap. Her scent, scents are really good and they perform really well. So, you know, you can't always, you can't forget about her. Okay, I have some more scent shots. Strawberry Vanilla Birch from Teddy Bees. This is a sample. Mm -mm, it's strawberry and that birch tree scent. Not my fave. Snickerdoodle from K's. This I love. This was a very good cinnamon sugar cookie. It smelled like a snickerdoodle. It really, really did. Oh, that's good. So good. All right, on to bags here. I have quite a bit from Nene's. I have cake batter ice cream. This one was just a little too light, but a very good vanilla scent. Coconut sorbet. This was awesome. Very, very strong. That truly like almost icy coconut sorbet, but a little bit creamy. That one was very good. I liked that. Sugar cookie. Again, just a little bit too light of a vanilla for my personal preference. And then fresh and clean. This was really good. Really strong laundry. This smells like, um, it smells very similar to line dried linen from Better Homes and Gardens. So I love that scent. So I loved that wax melt. Rose Girls Raspberry Cotton Candy Ice Cream Cake. This was a chunk muffin. I love this scent. It just didn't perform for me. I've talked about it in like my What I Melted videos. Loved it. It just, just wasn't strong enough. L3 Saltwater Mermaid Fizzy Soda Satsuma. Again, loved this, but the blend just wasn't there for me. I really only got the fizzy soda and like a smidge of saltwater mermaid. So I wish it was a bit like more complex in the blend. Pennywise from L3, which is sweet funnel cakes dusted with powdered sugar topped with strawberry raspberry syrup. Unpopular opinion as always, but I don't like this. I do not like L3's raspberry. I've also discovered I don't like her sandalwood. <laughs> Completely off topic. But yeah, I just, I didn't like this. I didn't get any funnel cake. I didn't, mm -mm, wasn't for me. From Nene's, again, I have Candy Crush. This is like a caramely, not a caramel, but like a very warm candy type of scent. It did good, or did well. L3, Cupboard Under the Stairs, White Elephant Exchange. This was in her, um, in a bunt, a chunky bunt that was in one of her samplers. This was really pretty. A very candy strawberry, but mixed with the White Elephant Exchange, it, it was nice. I enjoyed that. Lilith from Closet Full of Wax, which is Sweet Pea, Let Them Eat Cake, and Pink Chiffon. This was a very pretty scent, but Sweet Pea is just not my thing. Oh, mm -mm. You're either a Sweet Pea or a Cucumber Melon kind of girl, and I am a Cucumber Melon kind of girl. L3 Creme Brulee Vanilla Buttercream Cuppy Cakes. This was a sample. Very good, pretty basic vanilla scent that was like a little bit bruleed. Not too bad. Closet Full of Wax, Lord of the Woods, which was Marshmallow Clouds, Palo Santo, Chocolate Amber, and Lord of Misrule. This was way too woodsy and like earthy for my liking, so I did not enjoy that. Teddy Bee's Royal Pink, which is pink sugar, buttery toffee, buttercream, fluffy white cake, and sugar cookies. I would have loved this without the toffee. It was just not that good of uh, an addition to it. It was just very, it smelled very like the Cupcakes at Tiffany's sort of vibe. Yeah, I did not like that. And then the last wax melt is Lemon Adipose from L3, which is Jet Puff Mallow, Mallow Fluff, and Toasted Mallow. Great lemon scent, but I have other lemons that I preferred over this one. So that's it for wax. And then as for, I have some wallflower tags which is just clementine sherbet, iced clementine, sugared citrus, sweet vanilla, disgusting, do not like, it's in the basement, <laughs> watermelon lemonade, which is watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. I love that. That went with the um, candle in the bathroom. The Febreze plugs in, goodness, the Febreze plug in in, what is this, crisp, clean? Yeah, these are I keep in the kitchen. They do perfectly fine in there. And then the last thing I have to share that is home fragrance is a odor spray. This is the Beekman 1802 Happy Place Odor Eliminator. 
I love Beekman 1802. Okay, and then they have a, a home line. This is made with all natural ingredients and it's environmentally safe, which I prefer a lot. So I use this in the areas that my dogs are in. So their dog beds, the rugs, the couches, anywhere that they really lay that I just want to spruce up, I use um, Beekman's Happy Place Odor Eliminator because it is it's better for them than like a Febreze because this is made in the USA, never tested on animals, and it's non-toxic. So, and the ingredients are not that long. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only eight ingredients in this whole, in like the whole bottle. <laughs> so it's, it's great. I love it. I will always, I have, I just repurchased more of this. Um, so I will always have that and use that with my pups around because I want to keep them safe. So that is it. A lot of empties. If you stuck around this long, thank you so much. Please let me know down below what you guys have been burning and finishing up. I just, I love to chat with you guys. And thank you, thank you, thank you. If you stayed this long, I love you. <laughs> have a great one. Bye guys.